You want to know how to get way better on offense here in College Football 25 and score more points and win more games? Well, I got all that covered here in this video, so stay tuned. We're going to talk about five ways that you can improve on offense. All right, so here we go. The first tip is going to be well-timed high balls. Um, the well-timed high passes here in this game because high passes can really, you know, make or break a passing play and turn it from, you know, an incompletion into, you know, a touchdown. I'm gonna go ahead and put a clip on the screen of, um, you know, an example of me using a well-timed high ball in a real game. So you're able to see, you know, that clip right there of, you know, a well-timed high ball and how we're able to use it. And here in practice mode, it's a little bit more um, difficult to display, um, you know, those high balls and when they should be used just because, you know, I have two controls, excuse me, two controllers on the field. Um, but, you know, I'll go ahead and try my best to do so here. So we're going to go ahead and put it in right on our tight end, custom stamp him up a little bit more, right? And so we might call something like this. So we're going to take the snap here. Here, and then we're just gonna high ball it right over the top of you know say that underneath defender um that was there that's a lot of the time that's gonna be their user and so like I said it's a little bit you know less realistic here in practice mode I mean I completely just stopped this guy from moving but you're able to see I mean if this guy's like lurking right here and you just press the a button you're literally just gonna be putting the ball in an easy position for him to just be able to hold Y and intercept this pass so high balling it over the top of his head is going to allow allow for you know it to be an uh, easy catch for your guy to just go up there and get it and you know honestly the high ball especially when you're throwing like corner routes for example and he's a sometimes you're just able to catch the ball right in stride and continue moving you don't even have to really jump that high especially when you high ball make sure um you have your high ball into receivers that can actually you know catch those high passes um a lot better like the tall guys so for example um like you don't want to be throwing high passes to Isaiah Ball and he's too short. Um, yeah, these guys, 6'2 is kind of good for that high ball, 6'5 here. Um, I like throwing to this guy, Amari. Amari in the black here, 6'4, 245, kind of a good height to be able to, you know, reel in those high passes. So, well timed high balls is the first tip. They can really, you know, transform your offensive game because it allows you to just throw the ball over the top of defenders' heads when they're not really expecting it. All right, so the next tip that we're going to talk about here is taking your check downs i'm gonna go ahead and put another clip because i'm trying to show you guys that i do all these things in all of my gameplays because they are very important in order to be playing good offense here in this game. So taking your check downs, you just saw in that clip where it's even back to back plays. We're just taking our check down, playing very methodical on offense, right? It doesn't really matter, okay? It's third and one, I mean, excuse me, it's like third and three right here, let's say for example, and we see that we have this tight end out route open. So we just throw it in, catch it in stride once again, and now we're able to pick up a first down. Third and three, it doesn't, it's third, down right so it's a money down it's a very important down you don't want to ever be in a fourth down situation if you can avoid them but you don't have to over complicate things like if you wanted to you can just call a match combo two drags make a read where's their user going we go the other way and now we have another first down you the, the big problem that people make all the time when they're playing this game is they just don't take their check downs they're just not playing smart they're you know it's third and it's third and three once again they have one of their drags open but now they're looking over the top and it's a throw out of sack right so now they it's now it's fourth down and when it could have easily just been a first down right so even taking five if running back angle routes um, five yard little tight end out routes you see okay i have this open i'm gonna hit that discipline yourself right that's a four or five yard gain but in our first and ten we're keeping ourselves staying you know within the distance of the chain staying ahead of the chains and not you know playing behind those the, the way that you continue to be methodical on offense is you take your check downs and then for example maybe it's second down and one now you have an opportunity to take a shot down the field because they're gonna they're gonna take your check downs away right 
right? So they're gonna put two hard flats on the field and they're gonna take your check downs away completely. But now you're gonna have that post route right down the coverage, split that split field coverage. And that's all gonna be available because you, you force them to make an adjustment to take away your check downs. And now they don't have enough time to make the second adjustment, which is to close off their split field coverage. So, you know, taking your check downs really opens up the rest of your offense overall and makes it very easy to, you know, sustain drive because you're just playing very patient and forcing them to, you know, make the adjustments that are necessary, force them to take away everything. It's gonna to be tough for people to take check downs away and to completely take away everything down the field. So be methodical, take what the defense is giving you. It sounds cliche, but it really will change your offensive game and allow you to score points on every drive. What's up YouTube, before we jump back in this video, I need you guys to go hit me with a follow on social media. My TikTok and my Twitch are BLT for Life 21. It's gonna be on the screen. And then my Instagram and my Twitter is BLT for Life 22. Go hit me with a follow over there. We'll definitely make a better college football and really Madden player. I upload tips on both of those on all my social media. So hit me with a follow over there and let's jump right back into the video. All right, next tip I is one that I don't know if I've talked about before. It's user catching. So you're just gonna be able to see it, kind of what I just did right there. I'm going to take the snap here and you're gonna be able to see, we're gonna throw that ball in the middle of the field, but we're gonna possession catch it so that our receiver can go down low and bring the pass in, for example, right? So if we call a different route combo here where we're gonna be looking for our corner route, this time we're just going to rack that ball and bring it in on the, you know, the sideline. There's gonna be all types of different times during the game where you're gonna have to make different user catches. You, you know, I'm gonna put another clip on the field of me aggressive catching a ball in the middle of the field with my receiver. And then sometimes you're gonna have to, you know, be able to possession catch right here. This is a perfect time to be able to aggressive catch that pass so that that um, defender doesn't really have an opportunity to hit us. We're able to just catch the ball. Whenever you can catch the ball and then take a hit, that's when you want to, instead of, you know, taking the hit as you're trying to catch the ball. That's why the aggressive catch feature exists. So right here, we're going to take the snap. We're going to, you know, aggressive catch that pass so that, you know, we bring it in before before we have an opportunity to make contact with any defenders. And like I just said, you know, there's other situations where you might have to rack, um, you know, run and catch. There might be times where you're going to have to possession catch a ball in the middle of the field so that you can, you know, get down before you get hit. It just depends on the windows. You wanna use the rack catch when there's no defender in sight. When there's nobody in sight before if there's no one in sight, when you're catching the ball, just rack it and try to catch the ball in stride and continue up the field. If you know there's a defender that's kind of close to you, but you're still gonna be able to make the catch, I would recommend aggressive catching it so that you can catch the ball, get your two feet on the ground, and then take the hit. If you can catch the ball with two feet on the ground and then take a hit, most receivers in this game are gonna be able to bring that pass in. But if the def it's a very small window and you're literally gonna get hit as you're catching the ball, possession catch the ball, so that your receiver can at least try to catch the ball and then fall to the ground as he's bringing it in. Sometimes the window's too small to where you can't do that, but you know, that would be your best bet. So user catching, determining which, you know, of those three catches you wanna do, whether it be the rack, the aggressive, or the possession, which one of those three do you wanna use? And, you know, make sure that you're using them in the correct situations to be able to, you know, bring passes in. All right, next tip, fourth tip here that we're gonna talk about, another one that might sound a little bit cliche, here but not forcing reads you don't need to take the top off of a defense on every play you guys watch your favorite players you guys watch me play right i do throw a lot of bombs over the top but i'm not hunting it on every play i'm going to utilize the check down game and then when the situation calls for it, we're going to be looking over the top like right you don't want to constantly be chasing the big play down the field yes we have it right here but our quarterback overthrows the ball because i didn't make the read on time because maybe I was too antsy in the pocket where I was chasing the big play well right here you're able to see we have time once again and we have it open that time so that would be a great time to possibly throw it and you know this sometimes this stuff is easier said than done there's gonna be times where you guys watch me play I'm even locking on certain receivers down the field hunting the big play because you know it's cool it's a highlight and it helps you know move the ball down the
on the field faster but you have to you know understand that you know take your check downs right the first thing that we talked about here because there's going to be times like that where that defender who's one of the best defenders in the game completely whips on a tackle and that turns into a big play whenever you can run the football whenever you can use the rpo game whenever you can take your check downs and still turn those into big plays that just makes the game so much easier for yourself and when you can make the game easier for yourself on the offense side of the ball you know that's exactly what you want to do but right you don't want to be hunting the big play every time because you know what if they you know are blitzing you and they don't have like they're gonna send five right here and you don't have a check down the field you call it a terrible route combo because you're just hunting a big play this is just a terrible play they blitz you and now you since you're hunting the big play you end up turning the ball over on a sack fumble right so th that's exactly what i'm talking about where you're just hunting the big play let's just say it's second and ten there's no reason to just call a play like that where there's no you know other options if you get hot blitz which is exactly what happens right here they hot blitz us they get pressure they force a fumble and they recover that fumble so you know yes we had people open but we didn't have enough time to make the read whereas if we had a check in on the field to our running back we would have been able to hit it get rid of the ball quickly and you know live to fight another down not chasing the big play putting check downs on the field and actually you know taking those check downs and then looking for the big play when it's there you don't need to force reads like you don't if they have a if they have a, like a middle third here on the field you don't need to be looking for this post right here like you don't need to be looking for that read it's just not open you know so you have to understand that you know when certain coverages are going to be good against certain plays that you call and you have to you know as as an offense do your best job to call plays that will beat their defense but if they call a good defense for the play that you have throw the ball away and live to fight another down and try to beat them on the next play don't force reads and you know make sure you're actually taking your check downs when they're available all right so this is a very underrated tip that's also Pretty important for those of you guys that have stuck around to this portion of the video you need to be you know using this tip um to your advantage but it's countering their pass commit so as i've talked about before when they're calling a really good blitz like let's say they're in db blitz zero right here when they pass when they go to a pass commit basically what that's telling their defenders is okay this is a 100 percent of pass i want you to sell out to the pass do not even think about defending the run here because it's not coming so when they do that which people do that a lot because it makes your blitzes better you can counter that by running the ball if you know someone's pass commit you a lot run the football and you're able to see we're able to turn that into a you know 12 yard gain i will say a lot of the time when people do pass commit and you run the ball you're able to turn this into a huge game like I'm talking touchdown level it's like the red seed literally just parts for you and you're just able to turn this into a huge game down the field but we continue to go through this and then there's gonna be times also you know obviously that the 100 percent in this game where they pass commit I don't even think I pass commit on that play actually but there's gonna be times where they pass commit and you're still able to I mean you're not able to turn that into big play and I forgot another thing that happens when they pass commit is their defenders can't tackle anyone like it's so much harder to tackle um right here i mean this guy literally has his full body around him and he still just breaks the tackle and spins off and turns into a, a even bigger game but when they, when they're pass committing you and the way that you can kind of tell that they're pass committing you is by how fast one their blitzes come in and how their safeties are defending against the run if their safeties are really slow when you're running the ball I mean, that's that's the easy one that they're pass giving you. So we hand the ball off once again here. And, you know, I don't even have CJ Baxter in the game. But even this blue guy, he's getting the job done for us. When they pass commit you, try to run the ball. Get them out of that. It's going to be an easy game every time. Like four or five yards a carry when they pass commit and you run the ball. And then, like I said, when I started this segment, it's like you can turn it into a touchdown a lot of the time. Because the game really punishes you for uh, pass committing when they end up running the ball it's kind of like how they punish you um when you run commit and they pass the ball but it's flipped so they they really do punish you they don't want you pass committing when people are running the ball so you can take advantage of that you know counter their pass commit they're going to want to make their blitzes better and faster well if you run the ball it completely nullifies it and flips the advantage onto your end so make sure you're doing that here in college football 25 and let's jump right out 
All right, so there it is. We talked about five tips, five ways that you can improve your own offense in college football 25, regardless of the offensive formation that you're using, regardless of, you know, the necessarily the players that you have on the field. You do those five fundamental things. You're going to be a lot better offense here in this game. But, you know, comment down below what videos you guys want to see in the future, which you guys are kind of struggling with here in college football in Madden 25. So I can uh, make some tip videos, breaking those things down to help you guys out. But don't forget to go down below, hit the like button hit the subscribe button turn those notifications on check me out on tiktok for more helpful video tip clips and i'll see you guys in the next video peace